everyone, welcome to another unboxing video. Today we have the Kuroko no Basket last game figures of Kuroko and Akashi. I'm so excited. This is a limited edition and it, it was really hard to get the figure. Hey, can you stay out of this? Um, it was really hard to get the figures because I was going to purchase it on Crunchyroll. We were literally in our cart trying to make the order, and as we're making the order, Crunchyroll sells out of them. So then we try to do the singles, and uh, we get the two singles in our cart, and Crunchyroll sold out of them again. So we went through uh, Nippon Yasan. Um, I'm not going to recommend them as much as they do get me my figures, especially the limited ones, because um, again, like last time, they did undervalue this. So. The fact that it's here means that nothing went wrong, but something could have gone wrong. But let's let's open it up. I want to open this. Ugh. I have, this year has definitely been the year of limited editions and exclusives. Like I can't believe how many exclusives I've had to go through so many hoops and measures just to get these things that nobody wants to sell on just one on every shop. Ugh. Alright, uh, there's black and there's red. Which one do you guys think we should open up first? Uh, let's do this one. Ah! If I can get this out. Eek! Okay, so this is Kirko. Why is Kirko in the red box? Uh, that's weird. Alright, let's tear off the paper. Hey! Nosers! I'm sorry, someone is an attention seeker today. Oh, but look at him. He looks so pretty. And Tetsuya 2's in there. Oh, oh, look how pretty he is. Okay. So we're going to open Tetsuya first. And then we're going to go into Seijiro. Oh, he's got tape on the sides. I I'm not used to all figures don't have this. Uh, some of them do, but not all of them, so it's, it's not always the first thing I think of. Alrighty. There we go. Bend them so the... The box is very basic, I will say that. But the figure itself is what matters. So, whatever the box looks like, it, all that matters is that the figure is adorable and looks right and just even from looking right here you guys can see Kirko looks pretty darn awesome so we take him out of his plastic he's got some plastic on both of his legs to protect them and there he is there he is Whoa. oh that, that's cool that, that's a cool base i will agree that that base is cool Okay, so that's where his feet will go. I should be doing this correctly. I don't get why he would be the other direction. He may be the other direction. I don't... Come on. Okay, let's put this foot on first then. And then we'll... Try to maneuver your other foot. I'm like trying to show you guys from the bottom so you guys see where I'm trying to get it. But he definitely does not feel like he is meant for... <laughs> he feels like he's a little bit uh, off. Like I'm, I'm actually like bending the plastic a little just to make him fit. But there he is. He's on there. The next part will be... Well, look at... Look at Tetsuo too. He looks so cute! Oh! Oh, that's adorable! But, the next part would be getting the basketball up. Hey, can you stop that? Sorry, guys. Normally, she doesn't bother me during recordings, except for apparently today. So, the basketball goes there. Get it as far in as you can. And then the basketball just hangs out there. So, there we go. We've got one figure. All put together and you guys will see a close-up of him after I get uh, Akashi put together but let's put him off to the side for now as we grab the second box 
Akashi! Oh, let's tear off your plastic and see how you look. Ah, oh, he looks so good! Ah! Oh. I think Akashi is like one of the um, best characters showcased in the last game, a movie. So I'm really happy that he was the other one that got chosen for the figures. So let's open him up. Alrighty, and get that open. Oh, no, 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 don't tear. There we go. Didn't tear it. Just got caught on itself. Now let's get a Keshi out of there. And, ooh. So, unlike Kirk, he's got the same kind of base as Kirko, but unlike Kirko, he doesn't have a floating basketball because he's got it in his other hand. I guess you can see, there it is. But you'll see it up close in a second. Just gotta cut the tape from this side. I get that these are kind of long because I, I don't edit any of these unboxing videos. So it's it's really you guys seeing me unbox these guys. But I think that allows you to see exactly how they're going to come, how they're going to be packaged. And that also allows you to tell the difference between a bootleg and a non-bootleg is seeing an unboxing video like this. Because trust me, the packaging is a lot of where the differences will come <laughs> between like any figure you ever buy. The packaging is going to tell you kind of if it's a bootleg or not. Um, like that's going to be your number one clue on if something's a bootleg. All right. So I do have to say the little pegs are not the nicest thing in the world. They're not easy to get in. Uh, I guess they're sturdy because once you get them in, I can't get them out. Uh, but the, these are, these pegs suck. Um, move that over there so you guys can see them. And I'm going to put him down, and I'm going to put Kuriko down. And we'll try to put Tetsuya between the two of them. And you guys are now going to see, like, an up-close view of the two of them. Just give me a second. Alrighty, and here we have up-close and personal of all of them. First, let's zoom up to Tetsuya, too. Any good? Isn't Nigo good? Nigo is always awesome. And now let's go up, Akashi. There's the Vorpal Swords logo with his name. And then we zoom up. Look at that amazing face. If it'll focus in on him, right? All the details. All the fabric folds. Let's go up Kuriko. Starting from his shoes to his pants. There's a lot of folds in this. Oh my god, look at that! He's about to hit us with a basketball. Whee! So there you have it. There's Kirko and Akashi, the first and only figures from the Kirko No Basket Last Game movie. Brought to you by Mega House, and they look amazing. I'm so happy that I was able to get them. And I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video, and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye, everyone.